So now, back on the road home. This is a seriously quick lower body workout. It puts in cardio, of course, because you have to breathe a lot harder when you're doing some of the moves. Um, walking downhill uh, on a dirt track takes a lot more effort than it does like walking down a cemented hill. So that was a good quick workout. We're back on the road that goes out to the park. And if we walk fast, we can pick up the pace, get home on time to get our food out of the oven. Uh, having three kids is a lot of work, especially when they're all pretty fairly close in age. Um, my first two are not even two years apart. Uh, they're 21 months apart. And then my second and third are um, almost about three years apart, not quite. So they're all pretty close. But um, they keep you on your toes. I'll tell you what, when they were, you know, a year or two younger, all of them, it was a lot of work, not just physically, um, but mentally and emotionally exhausting. I didn't love them any less, you know, I love them all so much but it's a lot of work to have that many kids. And so I look back on those times, those few months, and I see the face of a woman who is completely emaciated. Not even by choice, and I didn't even realize that because that was the face I saw in the mirror every day. But when you're running after kids and constantly giving and giving and giving every day and every second, and, in, and you know, I mean, and the job that I have as a mother, as a parent is not like a full-time job, you know? It's a 24 seven job and <laughs> yeah, I may not be standing up for 24 hours a day, but I'm on call 24 hours a day. I'm on call 24 hours a day. So even at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 1 a.m., whatever it is, 4 a.m., if there is a need, then I am up and on it. So... Now I've been able to slow down. Um, looking back at the pictures of myself, I went, oh my God, how, how could I not see how just malnutritioned I was, how like, emaciated I was. I looked terrible. But being able to see that shows you that you can get really bad and not even know it. So I tried to make a conscious effort to either A, get some exercise for myself without my kids, uh, you know, B, to eat well, uh, not, you know, because I buy food, good food for my kids, but because I buy good food for all of us as a family. And, my mom, my stepmom, always says, you know, that, that the airplane scenario, 
wear when the airplane starts going down and the oxygen masks fall down. Who do you put the oxygen masks on first? Is it your kids or yourself? And for me, it was always my kids, always my kids. Until it just clicked one day. keep my kids alive. Without me, my kids don't have a mom. So you have to apply that to everyday stuff. So anyways, I am back on my street now. So I'm gonna finish up those incredibly horrid, gnarly side shuffle things that I hate. But let's do it to get home so we can get that macaroni and cheese at 11. I'll show you how that turns out. All right, here we go, shuffles. Here we go.